بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹوڈے ریئلی انٹرسٹنگ ٹاپک وچ از ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ اے فلو چارٹ ڈائگرام یوزنگ مائکروسافٹ ویزیو سو آئی ایم سپوز آئی ایم سپوزنگ دیٹ یو ہیو مائکروسافٹ ویزیو اینڈ even if you don't have microsoft visio uh, maybe any, any other tool or you want to draw on the paper so at least uh, i can clear the concepts then you can uh, go forward the way you want or you are interested today i will try to cover two types of uh, flow charts in uh, visio uh, one is called simple flow chart and the other one is called swim line swim line sorry let me correct it swim line or cross functional right okay <clears throat> now let me first introduce what kind of these different shapes are there and if you will come here on the left side you can find different you know these di- uh, diagonal and <coughs> sorry <clears throat> different shapes are there okay <clears throat> If you see here on the left side, uh, one is let's say for example decision. Decision means if condition, if you understand the programming language. Uh, so it's a if condition. Let's say for example you want to test some condition. It can be true or it can be false, you know. So uh, here you have to, let's say for example you are requesting uh, to store that I need this item. So there is a condition now. It is available or not available, right? True, false. Okay, there's a data, let's say for example, if you want to handle some data over here, uh, there's a document, let's say for example, any document, invoice or purchase under you want to show uh, any sub process or process or whatever. When I will uh, try to use it, then, uh, then you will understand. Okay, first let us take this uh, very simple uh, diagram. This is not, it, it will not show you a complete process or something like that, but it's just for a Uh, demo purposes or training purpose over here. Okay, procurement flow chart. Procurement, let's say for example, uh, procurement or you can say uh, material issuance uh, flow chart. So this is the first is the start. So let's say for example, you are in a department, um, for example, in finance department and you need a laptop. So what you will do, see here, this is the data again. So here you are requesting through PR, purchase requisition, that I need one laptop. Request will go to inventory check or store check or with the store. If it is available, see, it will send the notification, right, to the preparer that yes, it is available and <coughs> Since it is available, this route will be there, this yes, this one, one, and issue the issue to requester. See, notification is going. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, from here, I think we should not even send notification like this. So we will send, let's say, for example, after issuing that, okay, notification sent that it is issued, please collect or whatever. If it in stock, it's not available, then start procurement. So now procurement will start their process. They will do internal uh, whatever their process is, RFQ and you know all those things. Then once received in the store, right, again it will issue. And a notification will be sent to the pre- uh, preparer or the uh, PR owner, right. And after issuance, stop. So this is a flow diagram. So for any process, you can create flow diagram like this. Now, for example, <clears throat> how we'll create? Let's say, for example, uh, this is start. I am not going to functional, uh, cross functional. Let us hold over here first to see how it uh, is created. So let's say, for example, I have this uh, start. First, I will just drag over here, right? Then let's say, for example, I need a dis- uh, processing or uh, data. So first I will draw over here, right? Uh, at the moment I'm not um, adding any arrows or something like that. Let us keep a uh, little bit 
letter and here it is let's say for example uh, up to this right okay now <coughs> Uh, let me check insert uh, connectors right here there are connectors so I will click over here and from here to here I will drag right so if you see here it is connected uh, another connector from here to here right now if you will move here and there it will automatically adjust its uh, directions right so you don't need to worry and it will keep connected right now for example if I am moving it down and I want to bring one more over here uh, in the middle let's say for example this process so I will just keep it over here right so automatically it got connected here and then this got connected so even you don't need to uh, add another arrow okay now uh, and also is like this right and now again I need one connector sorry click and from here just drag right okay now let's say for example here this is a condition and I want to put another process over here so it is coming here if it is yes then it should go to the right otherwise no down so if I will double click this line I can type no and <coughs> sorry mm. okay uh, why yes why, yes or true whatever you want to put it over there you know so here double click uh, and material check something like that whatever you can see see we are able to create a very simple flow chart <coughs> uh, using this so here I will say uh, stop or end let's say end and here I will say start it is to show from where the process is starting the purpose of this start is uh, the initiating point and this is uh, the final last point right because there will be complex uh, diagrams so then you will not be able to from understand from where it started and where it is getting ended right okay now this simple is very simple and yes it is making sense you know it is showing you the procurement cycles but when it is uh, in detail and you have more uh, action items or uh, processes then it is very difficult to understand the responsibility right so let's say for example uh, in this let's say for example there are three departments uh, getting involved uh, first is the requester let's say for example it is finance department then it is going to store department then it is going to procurement department so now we have to show each department responsibility or action separately and at what stage you know so then they will be uh, very much clear or while you are developing any application or you are doing system analysis or business analysis or whatever if you are a business analyst so you can mark those things so let's say for example while preparing documentation you will understand okay uh, how it will move let's say for example uh, developing an application after this process uh, another which role should log in and you know they, they, sh they should take the action so now for that purpose we use swim line are cross-functional diagrams so the same diagram I moved over here I mean created here where this is finance department let me put it here finance I just double clicked a and C finance because or I can say requester whatever you want to put it over there so this is in my case uh, <coughs> sorry okay uh, let me put it requester to make it uh, generic or dynamic so now it can be any department you know requester who is going to request okay the requester is doing uh, PR for stationary for example at this time I just uh, made stationary it will go to stores department see now there is a store department so let me see here now arrow is shifting responsibility or process to stores department store issue to the requester if it is available so let's say for example here it is yes yes available 
right? If it is not available, it is going down to the procurement. No. So they will start the procurement process. They will issue, uh, first they will get RFQ, then they will com make comparison, then they will uh, create purchase order, then, you know, things like that. Okay. Once it is received, then again it will be issued to the requester department. And notification will go to, to home, the requester department, like that. And then stop or end, whatever you can call it, right? So this is how you can <clears throat> create simple or thin line uh, flowcharts. And let's say, for example, let me show you a few options over here. So if, let's say, for example, this chart is there, I want to add uh, another here department swim line. So, and swim lines are of uh, uh, two directions, can be two directions, uh, horizontal or vertical. This is horizontal because these lines are horizontal. The vertical means these, these headings or departments will come on the top. I will show you in, in a while. So let's say, for example, if I want to add another department, I'll just drag this swim line over here. here right okay now let's say for example if I create another sheet this is uh, okay uh, let me first show you here so here if you will see here the designs you can select any design the way you want different colors combinations are there which attracts you just use those one there is no hard and fast rule it all depends on your color scheme your choices, right? Like this. Okay. Now, let us come here. And now I will go to uh, my another blank sheet. So let's say, for example, here, uh, I have to create a <clears throat> new swim line, horizontal swim line, or new horizontal cross functional function like this now you can move their designs right so if i want i don't want this horizontal i will just cannot it all the separate in the cross functional flow chart right okay if you, i want uh, vertical then <coughs> i will put it like this it's depend your it depends on your formatting okay second third, fourth, that's it, I think these are enough. So this way you can add, I have a, uh, less resolution, you will not be able to see properly. So if you see here, now we have vertical swim line. So let's say for example, this is the requester department, here you will start, then you will go to next department, down, next, back, like that. So this is called, let's say, for example, uh, vertical. Let's say if you want to print on A4 size or things like that. Uh, if you want to print on um, uh, oh, uh, sorry, landscape, up to you, right? It depends on your uh, complexity of your flow chart. Uh, I don't think there is anything else uh, to be explained over here. The best thing is you try try and try again. If you have any question, please feel free to ask. Uh, here you will have the cross-functional flowchart, certain settings, separators will be there, page, orientation, direction, margin, style, whatever if you want, right? So there are different ways you can, so now title came on the left side, it, it is just to uh, maybe uh, get some space. Right, and thank you very much. Please share your feedback or question if any and uh, try to practice it and get your expertise. Soon you will be expert within no time. And uh, just uh, before leaving, so if you want to have more, uh, let's say for example, uh, shapes, you can click more shapes. You see here there are different shapes. So you can uh, go to business, you can go to flowchart, 
Uh, you can go to general, different shape. I mean, you can explore. So here you can even create maps and floor plans. You know, maps. So let's say, for example, let me give you building plan. Let me show you something, for example, garden accessories, furniture, uh, building core with your office equipments. Let me just click this one. So if you see here, now you got something related to, let's say, for example, if you are planning an office, so you can create like this, right? So you will create a sheet. And let's say, for example, uh, these are corner. Okay, let me like this. Ramp, spiral stairs, like that, right? Corner, like this. You have somewhere where you have to show a toilet. Like that. I mean, uh, yeah. then there will be doors, walls, washroom corner. This And if something is not available over here, you can go and select other shapes, you know. So there are, let's say, computer networks and monitors, computer monitors 3D. So let me click this one. So here you have PCs and, you know, PDAs, whatever, if you want to show something. Maybe a network diagram or anything. Let's say this is laptop. So then you want to connect it to something or servers, you know, so like that. So this is how you can create your uh, flowcharts. Uh, Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.